Enormous Elephant by Mwenya Hadithi and Adrian Kenaway. In the days before the big rains, many of the animals on the Great Plains looked very different. Python was short and fat. Ostrich had a short neck and very short legs. An elephant had a short stump of a nose and a short tuft for a tail, but a very big body. Elephant has such a short tail and such a small nose. Python giggled, and they're stuck on either end of such a large body. It makes him look enormous, laughed Ostrich. I'm not enormous, grumbled Elephant. I'm just big. My nose is small and my tail is short, so I look bigger than I am. Since Elephant could only pick up a small amount of grass and water in his little trunk, he had to spend all day eating and drinking. This made him look very greedy. I'm not greedy, grumbled Elephant. There's just a lot of me to fill, and I can only put in a small amount at a time. So, enormous Elephant and his family spent all their time going from lake to river to pond and back again, drinking and eating for hours. They traveled in a long line, each short tail in front, held by a small nose behind. In Big Mud Lake, there lived a very large crocodile. Nobody had ever seen him, but everybody knew he was there. As the sun grew hotter, the rivers and ponds dried up. Soon the elephants could not find enough water to drink. So one evening, as they passed along the shores of Big Mud Lake, enormous, elephant dipped his trunk in the water, just the very tip, just a little bit. Now the water was so low that the bottom of the eek was rather close to the top. And very large crocodile was only just covered by the shallow water. Crocodile opened one eye, and there he saw a small wriggling wiggler. So he opened his mouth and snack, health! cried enormous elephant as he suddenly found his trunk was stuck. He tugged and he pulled, but it was trapped in the water. Each elephant held fast to the one in front. Then the whole line of elephants hauled and heaved. But enormous elephant's trunk was still stuck. Ostrich was passing and took the tail of the last elephant in her beak. She strained and she skidded, but enormous elephant's trunk would not budge. Help! Yelled enormous elephant. Python was passing and held tight to Ostrich's feet. He tugged and he twisted, but still elephant's trunk would not pull free. Spider was passing, and when she saw the animals in a Long line tugging and pulling, she spun a silver rope. She tied one end to Python's tail and the other end. She wound round and round a baobab tree. Then, as the evening wind began to blow strongly, the baobab tree leaned with the wind and the silver rope began to tighten. At the bottom of Big Mud Lake, very large crocodile felt his jaws begin to ache, since he was rather attached to his teeth. He opened yeah them with a sudden snick. An enormous elephant was free. All the animals tumbled backwards in a heap. They picked themselves up and dusted themselves off, and then they began to laugh. They had all been stretched and stretched. Ostrich had a long thin neck and such long legs she could run like the wind. Python was long and smooth and snake-like. She could slide and stretch and slither. And when they saw. Enormous elephant with his new long trunk and his fine tail. They realized he wasn't enormous after all. He was just right. On the Great Plains, enormous elephant and his family showed off their new trunks and tails to the other animals. And every evening by Big Mud Lake, one more elephant would come and dip his trunk in the water, but just the very, very tip, just a little tiny bit. And to this day, elephants tromp proudly across the Great Plains, waving their trunks and swishing their tails. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.